I, I don't like showing skin. I don't. I think yeah. recently that's when I started posting, you know, in a bikini, you know, taking vlogs in a bikini, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, what I noticed is when I do take pictures that are revealing or I mean, I remember there's a time I took a picture with a see-through top. You put in woman in top, money behind, you're losing again. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna be fine, never the car, she couldn't. I'm gonna give her a phone. I'm gonna give her a phone. Shit, I'm gonna show you me now. I hope you guys are cool wherever you are. And I hope you are ready for this one because today I'm talking to a content creator. She creates content on YouTube and also on Instagram. Her name is Bunolo Siwela, but she goes by the name La Chance. Say my name no time. I don't want to be my... Hi! Hi, how are you? I'm good in you. I'm good, I'm good. I thought we were wearing glasses. What's happening? Where are yours? Me. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't like wearing them. I don't like showing I'm a nerd. Okay, so you came with the eyeshadow and now you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Like, um, I was trying to, to think where I, I started knowing you. Then I realized it was more like uh, other people's channels or uh, like lives on on, on Instagram and then from there yeah. I followed you and then yeah I got used to watching you live and your content and all that that's like super amazing uh, I want to ask a question yeah. if you were to to look back what found you first Instagram or YouTube definitely Instagram actually I wasn't really a social media person to be honest I was not a social media person I was on Instagram but I wasn't that active right and then I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I'm like, oh my gosh, Bonola, you don't even have that much of a following on Instagram. So how can you start a YouTube channel when you don't have a following? Do you understand what I'm saying? Then I'm like, you know, oh, yeah. like both of them, they will grow together. They will grow together. So I was first on, on, on Instagram. Then later on, I decided to start my YouTube channel. At first, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to promote this thing. I don't know how this thing is going to grow. But you know what? We're here. We're just going to do it. So yeah, Instagram found me first and then on the way, YouTube did too. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I, I, I always wonder most of the time because you know you find people on their journeys, they're already there going to somewhere yes. and you just join in. You try to binge watch, but it's not like you can know everything because people delete yeah. content and all these other things. So uh, another question I have, your content on, on YouTube and Instagram, would you say it's connected or do you have different content on, on, on the two? I don't because think I'm it's connected. To... I don't think it's connected. I think my YouTube is a very, it's an insight to me. Like it's an insight to Bonolo. You know, I don't think I'm that active on Instagram. Yes, I go live here and there, but I'm not in depth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So YouTube yes, gives yes. me like, okay, the type of person that I am, who is Bonolo, what does she do, the type of person, her personality. That's my YouTube channel. Instagram is more like my CV. You know, the say I like to look nice. Oh, know? yes. Nice. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I like to look oh, nice. Okay. Oh, you want to look cool for, for, for the brands and the, and the yeah, people. Yeah, and... cool <clears throat> <brand. laughs> okay, that's nice. So, so mm -hmm. if you were to give me some, a summary of your content on YouTube, what would you say is there? Most of the time, okay, story times. I have my story times. I have my vlogs. I think I started getting into vlogs recently, you know. But before it was literally Bonola just talking. Bonola just being Bonola. Bonola just trying to entertain. That's why um, I always say that my channel, it's anything and everything. Because I have a little bit of everything. You understand? I have beauty yes. here and there. But mainly entertainment. Like, strongly entertainment. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I, I feel like I need to watch more of your story times. I've watched, <laughs> I think, two only. The mm -hmm. other one where you were talking about the bands and the driving and the drunk person. And another one, what was the other one? I forget it. Okay, I you, you like too much. <laughs> no, it was a nice story. I loved it. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's, let's think cons consistency. How do you stay consistent on Instagram? You said you don't post much, 
but obviously you keep posting something to keep people busy and on on youtube as well how how do you keep going with those two do you do it weekly what's the idea and yeah well, how, how how is it leveled okay for my youtube my wish my wish is to be to be able to post every week that is that yeah. is what i pray for you know but in terms of trying to post every week i think i'm too much of a perfectionist so it reaches a point where i think too much about the content that i want to produce and post do you understand i feel like i have so many videos that i've taken but i haven't edited because i don't like you know certain things like i said i'm a perfectionist so my yes. dream is to be able to post weekly on on youtube but then again not just post videos for the sake of posting posting videos that i'm confident enough and i'm like people are going uh, people are going to enjoy this yes, so then yeah. with instagram instagram there was a point where i was consistent i literally take time and be like okay i have my days during the week where i'm literally going to sit and think put on my makeup take pictures you know look nice for the gram i used to think about it and i think that was during lockdown maybe because i didn't have anything else to do but oh yes yes i was a lot more consistent on instagram and youtube during the lockdown and then now i'm just like i just post when i post again with instagram like i think about it too much like i don't just post for the sake of posting you know i need to make sure that the content that i post is up to standard you know what i mean yes. you yeah. get me yeah yeah the quality has to be on point all the time exactly exactly yeah and people are perfectionist huh like perfection exactly perfectionist you know mm, okay that's cool that's amazing i love that uh let's talk about brands and gigs have you started working with brands are there brands that you want to work with like uh i want you to name drop a brand name let's find that brand let's make them come <laughs> to you right now give me a name or uh, uh, maybe just talk about brands that you've worked with before if any brands or yeah i talk okay. too much i know i haven't i haven't worked with any brands i think the only brand i've worked with is h like hp but that's like that's just you know on the side things so i haven't worked with any brands yet nam yes. recently i did have a photo shoot with a uh, made by medi style right but that wasn't okay. even planned that wasn't planned that was literally just come to a photo shoot and then when i get there that's when they're like oh you're going to be part of it and i was like oh my gosh i'm going to be part of photo shoots like i was so stressed i'm like i'm not i'm not ready first of all yeah you know i'm not a model you know i would joke and be like you know one day i want to be a plus size model but i was not ready for that at all so right now nothing yet nothing yet brands i'd love to work with let me think let me think for me I love fashion, right? Hot towel, but I love to dress up and I like to look good. So, it definitely be very clothing brands. Wait, so I'm going to distract you. I'm going to distract you. Mm. Someone is saying you are gorgeous. Uh Thank you so much. with you melo and then someone says I'm such a fan. So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, you guys so, those two. <laughs> <laughs> so, the brands that you want to work with? The brands I'd love to work with is definitely your clothing brands. I'd love to work with The Fix. I love The Fix. I won't even lie. I love I love that store. So, definitely The Fix. What else? What else? Even Mr. Price must holla, guys. Even Mr. Price, Mr. Price can holla. You know I'm shine, you know we can we can do something, we can make some work. Do you want to do it on Instagram or on YouTube? That's the question. YouTube I'd love to do different hauls so Oh, yes. the different looks yes oh, no. instagram obviously take good content pick in those outfits yeah yes. yeah fashion content creator if i can put it like oh, that oh that's nice that's nice i love that so that means we need to talk to those people you need to tell them you know dm at them at them on this live you know all right <laughs> i'm going to tell them don't worry okay so let's talk about uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go to one that's controversial. I, I don't, I don't, like, usually I don't like asking questions like this, but I just feel like since you are a lady and you create content, I should ask you. Okay. A lot of people flash uh, a bit of skin there and there. Do you ever feel uh, pressured or 
the need to to show skin or get into that bikini and yeah? show some skin. You know? I just want to know like how it goes <laughs> in, in a woman's mind because I I see yeah everywhere and those get like likes. They yeah, do. so I mean, for me, do I feel pressure to do so? Not really. Not really. Look, man, I I don't like showing skin. I don't. I think yes. recently that's when I started posting, you know, in a bikini, you know, taking vlogs in a bikini, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, what I noticed is when I do take pictures that are revealing or I mean, I remember there's a time I took a picture with a see-through top and I was wearing a a bralette. That picture, that picture, that picture, the feedback it got, I was like So it's like this. So it's you yes. I was so shocked. I'm like there's no way this picture got so much you know <laughs> and feedback and comments you know what i mean so i look you do feel like you sex appeal is a bit important but then oh, again, yes. because because of the type of person that i am and my brand i don't feel pressure to post reviewing pictures i do feel pressure though to post a bit of like sexy pictures but not oh yes like the poses yes the poses in terms of showing skin and all of that no no I okay okay i guess that that's fine ah uh, let's get to the tough stuff oh okay i've heard you i've heard you saying you feel like quitting youtube many times uh why do you feel like that and um like what's the feeling why why do you sometimes feel like i i rather quit youtube and not do it anymore why why would that be in your head I think yo it's yeah I love doing YouTube I won't even lie I enjoy it so much right but it becomes a problem because like I said I'm a perfectionist and I'm very picky about the type of content that I put out there and the content that I produce yes. so and also in terms of growth I mean I've had my channel for 2 years now ne I've grown I've grown I could have grown more if I was a bit more consistent and posted a lot of things but I think I'm at a point where I feel like I haven't found my niche you know oh yes when you haven't found your niche you feel kind of pressured and feel like now you have to post things that are trending you know what i mean now i'm oh yes post yes tags i have to post yeah you know your challenges and that's not really me do you understand what i'm saying like it's not really no. the content that i want to produce not to say that i don't want to post such content at all but and people don't watch sometimes people i'm not saying all the time but people don't always watch original content do you know what i'm saying like yeah i'm not really yeah people will message me and they're like bonalo when are you going to do this channel challenge bonalo please do this tag bonalo please and i'm just like mm, you know and i feel like the youtube market is becoming so saturated because you you're seeing the same thing so now i feel like okay because i feel like i haven't found my niche and you know my my stamp or what this is the content that i produce i feel like what's the point because Oh, I kind yes. of feel lost in the space. You know what I mean? Or oh, you feel dragged to all the places in yes, a way. Yes, like, like I said, I feel lost. I don't know. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? And then it's the thing of it's so overwhelming. You're like, oh my gosh! And like, let me just leave it. Let me just leave it. So it's 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 tricky. Yo. It's tough. Eh? It's really tough. Yeah, I, I, like like a guy like me doesn't pressure themselves. Like now nah, I'm not there for you. Now I'm there to make money. If the you money is not there, I'm not involved. Yeah, like now I'm here to make money. The other things I make content. Yes, I I make content because I love content. But I make my own thing. If people don't watch, I sh- ah, you're not watching. What am I supposed to do? You get it. So one one other question. This will be the last question. Live. this is uploads i had you talking about being not like wanting to edit and all that which one do you love the most going live or uploading i wouldn't even like, i enjoy going live i enjoy going live because i'm very spontaneous and also i feel like i like to engage with my people do you understand what i'm saying oh, like yes. i love this con- love having conversation i love getting feedback immediately so i like going live on Instagram editing i think sometimes not to say that you you feel forced or you like just sitting there trying to talk and engage but it's not as personal 
Do you understand what I'm saying? As yeah. my life. Because then I can converse with you. I can We can ask each other questions. You know, the conversation can go. But then with a the YouTube video, you're kind of just forced to listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not interesting, honey. I am so interesting. And I'm so You said it. You said it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so that, those are the questions that I have. Uh, if you, you were to give advice to a person who wants to be a content creator, uh, whether on YouTube, Instagram, what advice would you give? Like it's a, we're talking kids who are in high school right now yeah. because those kids are a bit lost. They don't know what world they're going to be in because they don't think school makes sense. And yeah, or, or people who are in varsity generally and they want to start doing content creation because they think there's money. What advice would you give? The advice that I would give them is, honey, do you focus on what you're doing? Because I think we, what sets some of us back is that we, we compare ourselves too much to people that are well established. And we don't understand that those people started somewhere. They started somewhere. They built their brand. They worked on it. You know, they polished it. So start, honey, start and be confident in what you do. Be confident, confident in what you produce. You know what I mean? Whether people, it takes 50 million years for people to recognize you, okay, not 50 million years, but when it takes time for people to recognize you, it's okay. But be confident in the content that you produce. Love the content that you produce. Don't, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Just do it. So do it for you, kind of. Do it for you. And be confident in what you do. You understand what I'm saying? Bring your own elements, guys. At the end of the day, there's only one chance. You know, there's no other chance. So now I need to make sure that, you know, this content that I produce is la chance worthy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yes, do yes. you and be confident in what you do. And right. guys, honestly, don't feel pressured to have this expensive content. I mean, guys, at the end of the day, I don't even have a camera yet. I don't have a camera. I edit my videos on my phone. I don't even use my laptop to edit my videos. I edit my videos on my phone. So... Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go run and buy all of this expensive equipment. You know, you can literally start with a phone. Oh, Just yes. Phone and edit on your phone. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I, was, I was looking at, at, at this other thing. I started running. Um, I, I, I haven't run in a long time, so I got back to running. Mm -hmm. And I was like, am I serious about running to a point where I should buy shoes same time as would like the same day I start running or should I run for a month before I buy those expensive shoes that are meant for running? You get it? So yeah. I feel like start by that small thing. Like you advise them if they feel like they don't like it anymore, at least they didn't lose money on it because yes. going back to sell that camera won't be the same amount as the amount that you buy or you bought it for. Obviously ring lights you can buy because ring lights you can use to decorate your house. Or yes. something. You get yes. Yeah. So, so thank you very much for that advice. Thank you for your time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything you want to say, but thank you. And I see the eyeshadow matches your poster. I, I, Hey, 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 I see you. That's amazing. <laughs> we came through. <laughs> thank yeah, you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Um, I think it feels good to know that someone actually wants to hear what I have to say, you know. Um, I was a bit nervous, I won't even lie, but thanks for having me, you know. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. it. And hopefully, I help someone out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you like the thing is if if you don't help anyone now on the live, that I, I save it on my IG. There are a lot of people who watch and then they interact with me. They're like, oh, this was like, yeah, it made sense now and then. yeah. So that just know that you are helping a lot of people. It's more for for the kids because the kids wanna know. I'm so glad. So and thank I love you what very you're doing. Much. Keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully one day you and I can collaborate. Huh? Oh, yeah, we will. Trust me. Like, <laughs> like it starts like this. It starts with one thing and then it moves to the other thing. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make it happen. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, and um, we too much is saying this was insightful, but so, was so great and so insightful. So we too much likes you a lot. I don't know who we is. Let me mm -hmm. check a few other people. Uh, the other people didn't say any uh, that much. So we too much 
was interacting a lot and there were a lot of people so your people pulled through thank you very much we'll talk some other time man all right thank you man sure sure bye i always learn a lot from the lives because i feel like uh i know a lot about uh ways to run business and all these other things but i don't know much about online content you get it you have to learn from other people you have to understand what other people think and how people think to make your own thing so i hope you guys come right and you do your own thing uh let's just make south africa great together you get it cuz the rejoice cuz the people they wish to be here.